I got your juicy entertainment news for Monday. Vanessa Bryant, who is currently in the midst of suing the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department for releasing images of the crash site where Kobe and Gianna died back in 2020, is also suing for invasion of privacy as well as negligence. Now, during a deposition, she revealed that Vanessa found out about Kobe and Gigi's death through social media. She explained that the original report claimed that five people had survived and she was confident that her family was part of those five. However, she quickly realized that Kobe had died when social media messages started popping up on her phone with the words R.I.P. Kobe. She said she was holding on to her phone because obviously she was trying to call her husband and all of these notifications started popping up saying R.I.P. Kobe, R.I.P. Kobe, R.I.P. Kobe. She said her life will never be the same without her husband and daughter. Now, the L.A. County Sheriff Department ha- has requested that Vanessa go undergo psychiatric a uh, psychiatric exam to see if she really does have emotional and mental injuries from the incident. This is all meant to be part of the lawsuit, although, although some have described it as being invasive. But, I mean, come on. I mean, yes, I'm sure she's gone through um, emotional and mental injuries. More details are starting to come out about the tragic and fatal accident on the set of Alec Baldwin's new western, Rust, where he discharged a prop gun accidentally last week, killing cinematographer Helena Hutchins and also injuring director Joel Souza. Now, according to recent reports, the prop gun had not been checked for being loaded. Now, it appears that the production crew had already been concerned about gun safety conditions for some time, and it was evident as a text message had been sent from an anonymous crew member to their unit production manager. There had been two accidental gun discharges in the days leading up to the accident, and further examination of the incident revealed that no actions had been taken nor safety protocols implemented after the first two incidents. Now, the gun that was handed over to Baldwin, apparently he was unaware that the gun had been loaded with live rounds. It had also been noted that the gun was a prop. How and why the weapon was loaded still remains unknown and is being investigated. It was also revealed in reports that just six hours before the accident, half a dozen camera crew members had walked out to protest unfair working conditions on the set, namely delayed paychecks, long hours, and the 50-minute daily commute from Albuquerque. Now, it's still too early to say whether criminal charges will be filed in this fatal accident. However, Helena's father has made a public statement saying that he does not hold Alec Baldwin responsible. It is the responsibility of the props people who handle the guns. Mike Tyson is getting back in the ring. Well, so it seems February he's going to be squaring off with YouTuber Logan Paul in another exhibition fight. Now, over the summer, we remember Logan was in the ring with Floyd Mayweather and uh, he lost, of course. But he said, you know what? He wanted to get in the ring with Mike Tyson and it looks like it's now going to be happening. Now, the last time Mike was in the ring was when he beat Roy Jones Jr. in an exhibition fight. That was about a year ago. Pretty sure that Logan's going to lose to Mike, but it'll definitely be another hyped up fight so we'll have to wait and see if Big Mike is going to be doing his thing in February and knocking Logan out. That's your Juicy Entertainment News for Monday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all new KISS 96.